What's up everybody welcome to my YouTube channel this is Aki Vlogs and in Uti it's going to be one hell of an adventure today with the Xpulse 200 I know I showed a few glimpses of this bike in the previous video but I'm going to unfold more about this today let's go let's talk on the road on the motor vlog After escaping the torturous traffic from the Uti city in our agenda first we have the beautiful pine forest that's about 16 to 17 kilometers from Uti city we lived at fun city area Now coming to the modifications of the Xpulse 200 let's talk about the most obvious one that's a custom made handlebar so we changed this because the seats the stock seat of the Xpulse 200 wasn't comfortable everybody was complaining that the stock Xpulse 200 seat you can't do a lot of touring because it gets too hard because of how narrow it is so we changed the stock Xpulse 200 seat and uh, changed it with the rally kit edition seat so this is the rally kit edition seat it's very comfortable it's kind of broad and also very comforting for the pillion but the only problem that came with comfort was seat height the seat height got increased a little bit so we had to increase the handlebar size too now there are more additions to this bike like the stand the forks and the shocks which are the most important ones i'll come back to that later in the vlog i'm just a man and i can't understand it proud that i win and i did it myself probably more than a fuck of the hell here it's a blip and i'll solo myself as you all obviously predicted, the pine forest has beautiful tall pine trees. Just look at it. But be very careful if you're coming here with your children because there are a lot of monkeys. So you know what monkeys do, right? Monkey business is something you don't want to get into. Secondly, make sure you guys don't bring trash. If you're bringing trash, make sure you guys take it back with you because there are a lot of monkeys here who are playing with plastic, getting entangled with it, and then they're struggling to get off with it. The pine forest is very beautiful and a very scenic plus you guys can get amazing photographs over here but the truth is you're not allowed to come here but we are not the only people who are in here there are a lot of families inside the tourist drivers over here they tell you that you guys can jump the gate and just come inside like we jump but he also says if somebody catches you make sure you don't tell them that the driver sent you so this is some information you need to know Oh, oh, at the end of this beautiful pine forest, there is a clear water lake. Lovely, just look at it. In three, two, one, boom. Too many couples clicking photo shoot. Let's go, my boy in pink. Yay. Alright guys, after the pine forest, heading towards the beautiful 9th mile or 6th mile? What is it bro? 6th mile, right? 6th wow. mile. Today's all locations are gonna look familiar if not same because it's a forest area, it's a forest road. So we're gonna ride through and see all of those beautiful viewpoints. Never really know when you're gonna go, why you gotta put her on the foot in front of yours. Bury them toes, carry them close. I was never one to care about my man toes. I was like, froze. Next stop, Venlock. Next stop, Venlock, 9th mile. We are not planning to trek or walk over here. It's going to be a beautiful horse ride. Right over here, there are a few horses. You can self ride or they'll teach you. It's going to be amazing. Let's go. There isn't much to do here apart from the viewpoint and the horse riding. They are going to scam you with the charges. So make sure you guys talk appropriately and then decide on a price and then sit on the horses. Otherwise, they're going to scam you. Be careful with all of these things. Heading towards, where are we going? Paikara. Paikara. First off, you don't run nothing. All talk and your team bluff it. My squad, we all dream crush it. We ain't rush it. No discussion. All I know is us made for this. Paid for this. Yeah, slave for this. Been down and I'm gonna get it right. 
and here we go expulse has finally come into its comfort zone with all these new shocks handlebars and fork adjustments it feels like butter anyways so whichever tourist spot you go not just uti anywhere you have to nominal you have to pay a nominal fee while you enter so the previous place and this place we had to pay 10 rupees and 20 rupees uh, respectively to enter i suggest all of you guys uh, keep your camera inside because they're going to charge you anywhere between 300 to 1000 rupees uh, if they see a camera so all the future vloggers and families who are here just don't show that you have a camera you can later uh, take it out and click photos nobody's going to stop you or ask you anything That was one crazy experience. You guys must do this. It was about 840 bucks, like you guys saw in the board. But the instructor was telling us that since the fuel prices have spiked up from next month, the speedboat is going to cost thousand rupees. Anyways, we had fun. We got lucky. Heading out to Gudlu directly. We are not going to the waterfall because people told us that it's a fenced waterfall. If it's a fenced waterfall, it means that you can't. swim in it take a bath in it or anything of that sort and we are the kind of people who not only like to see the fish but like we like to feel the fish or like feed the fish so we're directly going to go have lunch head out to a beautiful safari let's go never really know when you gonna go why you gotta put it on the foot of the ghost bring them toes carry them close i was never want to care about my man toes i was like froze now my fault give me that smoke but i can't get hot we did the most hit the spot Madhumalai Tiger Reserve welcomes you and I'm taking you as I promised because the safari is important the safari is probably going to be beautiful let's hope we get to see something unique nice and enjoyable Run for your life every night see in the dark climb the light i got the spark i got the pipes all of my art coming to life had to face my fears while i chase my peers and i found my spot that time that i found myself up and out here walking that walk like first off you don't run nothing all talking your team bluffing my squad we all dream crush it we ain't rush it no discussion all i know is us made for this paid for this yeah slave for this been down and i'm gonna get it right and that sums up our jungle safari I must say that the jungle was not dead but it was definitely dull because it was not the season. After seeing a bunch of elephants and some beautiful beautiful deers, the jungle got boring so I started dozing off then my friend started dozing off. That's why we didn't risk going in the gypsy. That's why we chose 350 rupees shared uh, bus ride rather than your personal gypsy ride that cost you 4500 rupees. So make sure you guys do that because there is no guarantee that you can see a lion or a tiger or anything of that sort. It completely it depends on your luck and i'm pretty sure this is not the season to expect anything as such so make sure if you're coming this season or generally just don't risk it man 4500 rupees you can book better rooms and have better food because uti is very exotic and nice there are a lot of beautiful cafes spend wisely here i'll see you guys in another one make sure you guys like share and subscribe peace hale we know that scam ayer we know that scam ayer un tuje wait play wait play Ha 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 